So I have a patient that is grieving. And during the session, my patient stated that they just wanted to get over the grief. They wanted it to go quicker. They want to get back to who they were before. And I want to share something with you really, really important that comes up a lot during therapy. We are the result of our experiences. You trying to get back to who you were before, the anxiety or the depression or the transition or the grief, that person does not exist anymore. Do not focus on going back to a place, to a person that's no longer there. We're shaped by our experience and that grief has shaped you. What we need to work on is loving the new person that you are, loving the evolution that that has brought upon in you. And most of the time, that has to come with forgiveness. Um, forgiving yourself. Your, your healing will never hinge on another person because that person could continue to violate your boundaries and your rules and then you'll never get to heal. You need to forgive yourself to heal. Forgive yourself for what, you may ask. Forgive yourself for making that decision, not making that decision, um, just choosing to be with that person, choosing not to be with that person, being happy, being sad, being envious. When we talk about self-love as like an act of self-preservation, it doesn't mean just loving yourself in the peaks. You have to love yourself in the pits. You have to love yourself in the pits. As someone who has been having a lot of peaks and pits within the past year, um, on this amazing transition to becoming a mother of two. I love myself in the moments when I'm cuddling my children and I love myself in the moments when I am telling them that I need space and I am I'm, I'm touched out. You have to forgive yourself um, and really embrace that aspect of humanity. And with that, with so many Black women, embracing that humanity will involve burning that cape. There are so many things lately that have been bringing me more towards talking about like black superwoman syndromes and the things that sustain it and historically how it's embraced, it's embedded in white supremacy. And I think I'm going to be talking about it more. However, grieving and, and healing, um, trying to get back to that person you were before, it's not going to happen. It doesn't exist. And a wonderful example I gave, because everyone, I, I feel like everyone should know at this point that I love Megan Thee Stallion. Megan, we love you. And thank you so much for coming back to social media. My life is infinitely better since I get to look at your face more often. Um, the same way we can recognize as a generation, I am a millennial, as a generation, that the Megan Thee Stallion needs are never coming back. I told my patient, I was like, you know, we talk about Megan Thee Stallion needs and like, yo, they ain't never coming back. We need to work on that hit. That person that you were before is never coming back. And there's nothing wrong with that. You're shaped by that experience. Love the person who you've evolved into. I hope this helps someone. It helped me. Sometimes I, 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 I post stuff overall. I post often. And a lot of the things are also for me to hear me say them out loud. And I just hit record. Because I, I talk out loud to myself all day. Sometimes you need expert advice. you girl nothing everything